Hi everyone, today let's discuss whether the Arona needs air pump. Everyone knows well about the air pump, but is it necessary to buy a battery powered air pump? Some of the water pumps also can pump out air bubble. Can this replace the air pump? Yes, it can. So, what are the benefits of a lot of bubbles in the fish tank? We will discuss this later. If you keep a lot of arowana together without an air pump, it will be very dangerous. The question is, how much oxygen or air does the arowana need? Let's see, if it's not enough, will it become like this? For example, this is a single arowana that I kept in my house. There are many bubbles on the left side. The water flowing down from the top water filtration system, it is enough oxygen for single arowana in the fish tank. Then, why do we still need to buy an air pump? We will discuss this later. Our company has developed a powerful air pump. It has a 5.5 watt power and then it can hit 6 liter water per minute. There's a tooth output. The noise is 45 decibel and it's not very noisy. There's a cushion on the side of each corner. This can prevent vibration noise. You can see that the air pump is very strong. This is used by airstone. Because of the air pump is strong, so the air bubble will be thicker. It is also adjustable. If using long type airstone, it will produce some micro bubbles. We like to use a long type airstone. As you can see now, we adjust small air. If you turn up a little bit, the bubbles will become thicker. Now, I turn up a little bit, it will look like a lot of bubbles. Because of the video shooting, I put a long type airstone in front of the tank. If you want to prevent the arowana got droppy eyes, you can put a long type airstone in front of the fish tank like this, so that the arowana won't look outside of the fish tank. Normally, we will put it behind the fish tank. If it's interested in our product, please click the link down below the description. As I mentioned micro bubbles in front, micro bubbles are very fine bubbles. Micro bubbles are bubbles smaller than 0.1 cm diameter in the water. If can make out many of micro bubbles in the water, the water will be able to remove bacteria, remove those pesticides, clean the deep layer of the fish tank, and most importantly, it can release negative ions. This is that I went to do some research and read a lot of article. Basically, normal air pump can't provide fine bubbles unless you use a special airstone that can make micro bubbles. If there is a lot of micro bubbles in your fish tank, the water will represent in milky white. This will be very good to the water. There are several important things about the battery power air pump that some people don't know. You have to open up the cover of the air pump, then there is a connector in it. You have to connect the wire to the connector, then connect with the battery. And then it will start charging and will have electricity. There are many types of battery power air pump in the market. Some of them have a large battery capacity and can be used for a long time and some of them have a small battery capacity and used for a short time. The battery will grow old slowly with time and then will unable to charge again. So this kind of rechargeable air pump, also known as the uninterrupt air pump. For the new battery power air pump, it can last 8 to 12 hours, but after a long time of using, it will can't last that long. For the rechargeable air pump, we will change every 1 to 2 years. It depends on the battery lifetime. But we recommend that replace a new rechargeable air pump or replace the battery inside every year. This can maximize the function of the battery power air pumps. Because of some time Thai power repair the telephone pole outside, it will break down the electric for half day or even for a day. In fact, we should pay attention to the battery. You should write down the time when you brought it. This can remind you that when you need to change a new one. Once the air pump is start charging, the lifetime of the battery is reducing. If it is not connected, the lifetime of the battery maybe can last longer. We should pay more attention on this. We will put the air stone at the bottom of the fish tank. The deeper the water, the greater pressure. If the air pump is not strong enough, the air bubble will not come out, especially the long type air stone. They need more air pressure from the air pump. If we put into the water depth about 70 cm, the air bubble still can be produced. As you can see, it still has enough of air volume. Our this product is very powerful air pump. For the location of the air stone, 
there is different people have different opinions. As I mentioned before, if you don't want to let the arowana have droppy eyes, you can put a long type of air zone in front of your fish tank. If you don't want to block the view, you can put both sides or behind of the fish tank. If you don't want to use the long type air stone, you can use the round type air stone. There is a lot of design on air stone. Some are like a door, some are like a volcano, and some will have light effect on it. It depends on what kind of design you like. If you just keep one arowana in the fish tank, then the air stone doesn't have a fixed position. But if you keep more than one arowana in a fish tank, air stone can help you to cut off their territorial. You can put any shape of air stone and put more than one air stone in the different side of the fish tank. Then the territorial of the arowana will be cut off. And this is the reason why the air pump is a necessary product in the fish tank. If there is a single arowana in the fish tank, the oxygen that requires to the fish not that much is enough from the top water filtration system. If in packing, there is full of pure oxygen in it, so it can last at least 24 to 30 hours. We also done some experiment that arowana still alive after 24 hours. In this way, if the electricity has been cut off, do you still need a battery power air pump? Yes, it's still necessary. Why? Let's take a look at the article in our encyclopedia. This is what I found through study and written down in our company encyclopedia. Oxygen in the fish tank is not only for the fish, but also for the bacteria. In the process of nitrification, if lack of oxygen, nitrate will be reduced into nitrite by microorganism. In this case, the hydrogen sulfide also will be produced, and the water will become toxic again. And this is the reason why the content of oxygen is not only important to the fish, but the microbiota. That's why it's very important to have an air pump. It is better to have a battery power air pump. Next, how to choose the air stone? Actually, it depends on you whether like the long type air stone, round type air stone, or other many design. Of course, the finer the bubble is much better. When the air stone is working, the air stone is not easily blocked. If the air stone is blocked, you can just replace it with a new one. Subscribe to my channel. We will continue to upload more about Arowana. Thank you.